Greetings, this is an intro to the Styles and Templates tab in the admin area. The Styles and Templates tab is the hub of all visual customization for your site. Options that are available here are the selection of pre-built templates, building your own template, uploading of backgrounds, uploading of guild logos, which replace the guild text at the top of the page, selection of forum icons, rapid raid customization, game class style customization, options for styling all of your widgets, and the uploading of custom CSS. The way to start with customization in general is with the selection usually of a pre-built template. There are more than 100 templates here. There is a large number of templates that are not game specific. There are also a large number of templates that are game specific. The important thing to remember is that all of the assets here, whether they're game specific or not, are available to you for use with your site. You can use a tool like Firebug in Firefox to find the URL of any of this content and use it in other templates as long as you're using it with Guild Launch. An easier way to accomplish a customization of that type is to choose your base template regardless of the site specific or game specific customizations, and then use the build your own template option, which is documented in a different video, to customize it further, removing the game specific elements. After you've chosen your template, you may want to upload a new background. You would do that on the page background page. Once you click there, you get a little preview of your site. You can choose a new picture using a URL and then you can give it certain options like its repeat, its position, and its attachment. The attachment would allow you to make it so, for instance, the background doesn't scroll. The other options are the header. The header on this particular template is not yet uploaded, so there is no preview available yet. Once you upload a header, this sits on top of the background at the top of the page. The other options are the image logo. The image logo sits on top of the header at the top of the page as well. This is so that you can create maybe just a name of your guild and put it there. Other options are customization of the form icons. Here you would put a URL in for any image that you would like to replace the existing icon. And then it goes all the way to the uploading of custom CSS. With custom CSS you can upload a file or you can type CSS directly into this text box. and this would let you customize the site in all kinds of different ways. That is the core of the CSS customization functionality. You should also look into the build your own template options which are documented separately. Enjoy!